Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, I'm back with another video. Uh, Sarah and I have come out camping again this weekend, so um, I wanted to make a little video for you on the new camp chair that I got from Hidden Woodsman. Uh, I'm gonna get this thing started and then I'll take you with me through the whole process. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, these are not as straight as I would like them to be, but I'm just gonna do a basic tripod lashing around them, and uh, I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna take this cordage that I've got. Now this is not paracord, paracord stretches a lot. This is just basic cordage. It doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. I'm gonna do um, basically just a, a jam knot on there to start with and then I'll start my lashing. I want to come down maybe a hand's width or so from the top because you're going to have to twist it. Okay, so we've got the three um, legs up here on the picnic table. Um, I had that uh, issue the other week with my knee, and I just can't stand to be kneeling down doing this on the ground, so you guys will have to just uh, stick it out on this one. So, But what we're going to do is I put my um, jam knot, or I put my um, rope with the jam knot in the middle, and then we're gonna start here and do our lashing around it and lash these three together. So I'm gonna go from here, I wanna go around this one, and I'm gonna go around this one, and we're trying to keep these parallel. So now that we've got the two together, we're gonna pull this one in here and go right back between them, like that. Now, I've got all three of them wrapped twice together. Now, I know a lot of people may not do it this way. This is the way I like to do it, to make a tripod. So now I'm gonna pull these as tight as I can, and I'm going to wrap around all three of them three times. Now, Pull that tight, these are tight together. Now I'm gonna do some fraps, which a frap just means you're gonna wrap around between the uh, logs themselves. So we're gonna go around it like that. And then we're gonna come right back up through like that. Now what you're doing is you're binding this all tight together. Go around it. Come right back up through it again. Now, I'm gonna jump over to this side. I'm gonna pull back down. Come back up the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing there, and then I'll finish this out. And then I'll show you how we stand it up and put the bottom log on for the chair. Okay, so you can see now, as we open the legs up, 
it tightened down even more on these fraps and this thing is good and solid it's good and solid right there it's not going anywhere so now we're gonna add um, a piece across here that will go in the bottom of the chair and then we'll get this chair put on there and I'll show you how that works So somehow I lost the clip of me stringing the top of the chair, but what I'm doing here is preparing the stick to tie the string on and push it through the top of the chair so it can be tied to the top of the tripod. Uh, in the next clip you'll see a short uh, clip of what it looks like all bunched up and ready to tie. Okay now, so what I've done is I've gone along and cleaned up any of the little sticks or anything that may be poking out of here to protect my chair. I don't want it um, anything to be abrading the fabric or um, tearing a hole in it. Now that chair, it's made of pretty durable fabric, but just want to take your chances. And I did go along and chant for the top of this so it'll slide through a little easier. Now, all this does is slide through like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean back, find where the back of your knees are, where you wanna sit down at, and that's where you're gonna lash it on either side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. So it's the next day and uh, <clears throat> I got a little frustrated with this thing last night and decided to just stop. Um, when I made my marks, I made them up here where I would like to set, but I made my tripod too low. And that being the case, it brings these the top in um, too sharp and it doesn't allow you to sit back in the chair now um, I just found this was just dead standing wood and um, I used it for the chair uh, I used what I could use out of it I'm not gonna go cut uh, live trees to be able to make this chair work so you know now I know though I've got to have longer poles for my tripod um and it's the first time i ever set the thing up so no big deal um but what i did was i came and i lowered my bottom uh log across here and that made it where i can at least set in it and it's somewhat comfortable right now it actually is not bad 
leaning back on it now, but it would be nicer if these were a little taller so I could sit further back. But it's not bad. It's, it's actually really um, pretty comfortable. Um, it's usable for the way it is now, but I know next time it's got to be taller. But anyway, that's the Hidden Woodsman Camp Chair. And, um, you know, you'll see it throughout other videos coming up. And, um, but that, you know, that's, I'm very happy with the, with the chair itself and the quality. Um, made in America, you can't hardly go wrong with that. So, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you haven't already, hit like, subscribe, share the video with your friends and your family. And don't forget to leave me a comment below, especially if you have one of these chairs, you've set it up yourself, let me know what you think about it. Um, so thanks again for watching the videos, and I'll see you next time.